up YouTube, this your boy down low back with another industry top. First, let's talk about Wiz Khalifa, man. Wiz Khalifa just got a shoe collection, man, and been showing it off, man, with Converse. And you know what? It's about fucking time because it's a well-known fact that that's pretty much all Wiz Khalifa rocks is fucking Converse. These motherfuckers should have been came and broke bread with him and gave him his own collection. What I've seen, the shoe doesn't look half bad, man. Like, it's way better than most of the damn shoes that you see most rappers have. Like, them Yeezys or the G-Units and all of that bullshit. Shit. Next, 2 chains got arrested in Oklahoma City and started tweeting about that shit. And let me keep it all the way 100, don't believe a goddamn thing this nigga tweeted. Because the last time he went out and tweeted some shit, it was when he denied getting robbed in fucking San Francisco. And which was an obvious lie. But now what allegedly happened is the bus got pulled over for a broken taillight and the police wanted to come onto the bus because they seen drug usage. And 2 Chainz said no, therefore they arrested everyone and told the damn bus. 2 Chainz is saying that I don't see how they could see drug use on the bus when none of that shit was going down on it. I know injustice when I see it, man, but I want to see more of the facts to come out. But real talk, that's that police shit that they use on fucking everybody, man. Like you have a broken taillight when your taillight ain't even broken. Or I smell drugs to get the right to search some shit when... No one's even using anything. But I definitely want to see how this one plays out. And lastly, there's been a hundred million dollar lawsuit by Paul Batiste, who is pretty much a member and a owner of a jazz band in Louisiana, and he's suing Rick Ross, Cash Money, Pitbull, DJ Khaled, multiple record labels, multiple publishing companies, over theft of the music which they're saying has been done a lot of fucking times. And let's keep it all the way real, motherfuckers be stealing music like it's no tomorrow in the music industry. But a hundred million dollars seem a bit far-fetched. It is not a far stretch to see that all of these artists steal their content. But to get that amount of money, you really fucking pushing it. It's going to be real interesting to see the amount of evidence that they're going to put together to try to pull this one off. But honestly, I don't see it fucking happening. Even if they want to win this shit, even if they have them, I'm pretty sure the judge will come about like, uh... No, $100 million is a bit much. We'll give you $20 million or some shit like that. But anyway, this was another industry talk.